When Worlds Collide is a 1933 science fiction novel co-written by Philip Wiley and Edwin Balmer, they both also co-authored the sequel after Worlds Collide 1934. It was first published as a six-part monthly serial September 1932 through February 1933 in Blue Book magazine, illustrated by Joseph Franke. Topic. Synopsis Sven Bronson, a Swedish astronomer working at an observatory in South Africa, discovers that a pair of rogue planets, Bronson Alpha and Bronson Beta, which will soon enter the solar system, in eight months, they will pass close enough to cause catastrophic damage to the Earth. Sixteen months later, after swinging around the Sun, Bronson Alpha a gas giant, will return to pulverize the Earth and leave. It is hoped that Bronson Beta discovered to be Earth-like and potentially habitable will remain and assume a stable orbit. Scientists led by Cole Hendren work desperately to build an atomic rocket to transport enough people, animals and equipment to Bronson Beta in an attempt to save the human race. Various countries do the same. The United States evacuates coastal regions in preparation for the first encounter. As the planets approach, observers see through their telescopes cities on Bronson Beta. Tidal waves sweep inland at a height of 750 feet 230 meters, volcanic eruptions and earthquakes add to the deadly toll, and the weather runs wild for more than two days. As a token of things to come, Bronson Alpha grazes and destroys the moon. Three men take a floatplane to check out conditions across the United States and meet with the president in Hutchinson, Kansas, the temporary capital of the United States. It is discovered that the entire southeast region flooded, the Great Lakes rose and emptied into the St. Lawrence region, and Connecticut has become an island archipelago. All three are wounded fighting off a mob at their last stop, but manage to return with a precious sample of an extremely heat-resistant metal one of them had noticed, solving the last remaining engineering obstacle. No material had been found to make rocket tubes capable of withstanding the heat of the atomic exhaust for very long. Five months before the end, desperate mobs attack the camp, killing over half of Hendron's people before they are defeated. With the rocket tube breakthrough, the survivors are able to build a second, larger ship that can carry everyone left alive instead of only 100 of the roughly thousand people Hendron had recruited. The two American ships take off, but lose contact with each other. Other ships are seen launching from Europe, the French ship's tubes melt, causing it to explode in the upper atmosphere. The original American ship makes a successful landing, but it is unknown if anyone else made it. The survivors find that Bronson Beta is habitable. They also find a road. The sequel, After Worlds Collide, details the fate of the survivors on Bronson Beta. Topic. Adaptations and influences When Worlds Collide had far-reaching influences on the science fiction genre. The themes of an approaching planet threatening the Earth, and an athletic hero, his girlfriend, and a scientist traveling to the new planet by rocket, were used by writer Alex Raymond in his 1934 comic strip Flash Gordon. Jack Williamson's 1934 short story, Born of the Sun, also used the concept of a scientist and his fiancée escaping the destruction of the Earth in a hurriedly constructed, Ark of Space. 
The 1940–41 newspaper comic strip Speed Spalding, an adaptation credited to the novel's authors, was more directly based on the novel. The themes of escape from a doomed planet to a habitable one also can be seen in Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster's 1938 comic Superman. The novel was adapted as the 1951 film When Worlds Collide, produced by George Powell and directed by Rudolf Mate. In 2005, the science fiction author Jack McDevitt wrote, Seeker, where a population of people on a distant world was faced with a similar catastrophe. In 2012, the British composer Nigel Clark wrote a large-scale work for brass band inspired by the film and likewise titled When Worlds Collide. <laughs> Notes <laughs>